A monumentous day for Catholics in Milwaukee as Archbishop Jerome Listecki joins other bishops in consecrating Ukraine and Russia. Fox's Brett Lemoyne joins us live outside the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist in Milwaukee with the ceremony's global impact. Yeah, that's right, Stephanie, and it's estimated some 500 people were at the cathedral here behind me for a very special mass this morning. They joined millions of other Catholics all around the world praying for peace. A special invitation Friday morning. When you're invited to pray, you don't turn that down. Fills the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist in Milwaukee with prayers for peace as they watch war unfold in Ukraine. It's scary, but God is bigger than our fear, so all we can do is pray. Those prayers echo far beyond Milwaukee. Australia, they did it in Africa, they've done it all over the world, and we're a part of that. Archbishop Jerome Listecki joins bishops around the globe and even the Pope in consecrating Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. This whole service began by claiming that we're sinners, that we need to examine our own relationship to begin so that peace begins with us, and that, that peace then challenges others, world leaders, and everybody else. In Wauwatosa, the good will win. Ukraine joins the Wisconsin and American flags flying at Hart Park. I have a lot of family and friends in Ukraine. Valentin Potapenko was born in Ukraine but has lived in Tosa for decades. He says this means something to him and those fighting for their country. The flag represents our people. Um, it shows our people that people here are standing next to them and support them. And it's here till the end. As long as it takes. We're, we're going to have it fly until Ukraine is free again. And that flag at Hart Park was raised after a special resolution by the Common Council in Wauwatosa. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Oh, I love those beautiful church bells behind you, Brett. Thanks.